This is our 36 foot floating home sunshine. Join us as we go silly. Hello, my friends. Can I talk to you about me? That's a problem.
this as a counter challenge to why they're sitting in their armchair in their living room watching the idiot TV and uh, doing their best Walter T impression, dreaming of adventure while sitting at home doing nothing. So I challenge you all, but what if people out there, to at least not use everyday mundane, but what if, but use your, get your creative juices flowing and come up with some really interesting things, you know, like, well, I'd go off and go sailing on them big oceans out there, but what if, uh, one of them meteorites came crashing through the atmosphere and hit me on my boat out in the middle of the ocean, I would be instantly vaporized and there would be no trace of me or my boat left and my poor family would have to wonder forevermore what happened to me. Now that there, folks, is great, but what if? Not something silly like, I'd really like to do that, but what if the pie and the oven got overcooked and it wouldn't taste good anymore. So I have to stay here and take care of that pie and oven, make sure it gets cooked properly. Or any one of a myriad of other what what ifs. So don't worry about the, the problems that may occur in the things that you want to do in your life. Look at the but what if from a slightly different angle, such as, but what if I'm successful in facing the challenge of doing this thing that I want to do? Wouldn't that be grand? Yes, accomplish. Perhaps a lifelong dream, a lifelong ambition. You complete that task. You challenge yourself and actually do it. Now that's far more rewarding than hiding in your living room in your easy chair, dreaming of adventure while you Walter minying your life away watching the video. So that's it for Fred's Philosophy Corner. <laughs> Bye for now. That was a rehearsal.